Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. There's more vomit than you'd expect in Jackass Forever, an early shoe in for the year's most wistful and nostalgic comedy. The boys are back for one final plunge on the roller coaster in what feels both like an all too infrequent tradition and one that needs to mercifully come to an end, if only for the safety of its cast. It's a film that, much like the others in the series, will have you howling with the sort of unrestrained laughter usually reserved for dear friends behind closed doors. That's what it is, in a way. A reunion with old pals, emphasis on the old, where you're all wiser but you look back fondly on the dumbest things you've ever said or done. It's a blast, at times, literally. A last hurrah in which the Jackass crew has the first and last laugh, as they always have. And as usual, you're invited to the party. Concussions aren't great, but as long as you have them before you're 50, it's cool. And Knoxville's 49. So we're good. At this point, the concept needs little introduction. You're either along for the ride or you're sorely missing out. This time, the anticipation before each ill-advised escapade lasts even longer, as do the reaction shots of shock and uproarious cackling in the aftermath. Everyone is visibly older and more fragile. It all hurts so much more and goes wrong so much more easily. And the payoff is that much higher. Jackass has always been silly, but it's the kind of loving, self-aware stupidity where everyone is in on the joke, except for the times they aren't. This time, they've roped in a handful of newcomers too, giving Jackass Forever the appearance of a modern legacy sequel, where the old guard passes the baton. These newcomers fit right in and feel like they've always been part of the team. The film's status as a typical decades later sequel is cemented by the fact that a number of pranks and stunts are newer versions of things we've seen before, but they're far from empty callbacks. The nostalgia in revisiting these old ideas is all about going the extra mile to nail the ones that didn't quite work the first time and about upping the ante quite severely for the ones that did. For the fresh faces, it's a chance to mangle their bodies alongside people they grew up watching. For the original jackasses, it's a trip down memory lane and an opportunity to do things right this time. It's lost youth recaptured in a bottle and thrown down a junkyard hill. Jackass has a history now, and that history has weight, making it one of the rare franchises you'd wish would go on forever, but the limits of the human body make you wish even harder that this would stop right this second. The series' history is also a key part of the legacy of cinema, and the crew claims its place in that story without apology. Jackass has always loved movies and has always crafted its enormous sequences with various references in mind. This fourth film is no exception, paying homage to everything from Japanese kaiju movies to The Silence of the Lambs. There isn't a dull moment to be found in Jackass Forever. It's the most well-oiled movie in the series, moving smoothly from one segment to the next with a perfect balance of pain and hilarity, with just enough recovery time in between. It's funny in a cathartic way too, because watching it in a theater, if you are able to do so safely, feels like returning to something so simple and effective that you wonder why more people haven't perfected the formula. And then it hits you. There's no formula at all. Jackass Forever isn't something you can engineer in a boardroom. It's the kind of film that could only have been made by people who have been friends for decades, and who are so comfortable around one another that they're willing to trust each other with their lives for their own deranged amusement, and ours. It's gotta be over, dude. I think we're all the way finished, we're through. Stick a fork in it! The final chapter in American comedy's most chaotic saga, Jackass Forever, is a hilarious last hurrah for its original crew. An extravagant stunt show filled with more cinematic homages and more bodily fluids than ever before. It takes an ill-advised trip down memory lane and raises the stakes in maniacal fashion. Few recent films have been funnier or more delightfully nostalgic. For more reviews, check out what we thought of Scream and Catwoman Hunted, and for everything else, stick with IGN.